Hey, what's up folks? Welcome back to Reef Under the Roof like a Pura series. Today, we'll be talking about consistency within the reefing hobby. In order for us to stay consistent in this hobby, we have to make a plan and stick to it. But before all that, we have to set up our system that way so we can stick to our plan. We have to set up our system in an easy way. If something is easier to do, most likely we're going to do it. Let's talk first about testing. I like to use test kits that are reliable, they're easy to do. And in that way, since it's easy, I'm gonna do it every single time. And since they're reliable, I'm gonna be consistent with all my numbers. Of course, you can go Trident way or Mastertronic way, as long as you double check your numbers if something's off before you do anything. If you're using small jugs for chalcedony, calcium, magnesium, if you have to replenish them every week, stop doing that. Just get bigger vessels so you can fit them into your stand on in your system so you can replenish them once a month. And no matter what are you trying to integrate in your system, always try to make it simple. I'd rather have a vessel that is a bigger vessel than have a smaller vessel that I have my controller that's auto filling it all the time. I always like to match simple and easy. Let's talk about water changes. Yes, you're gonna have to be doing them. I know lots of folks will tell you I don't do much of water changes, but lots of them are selling coals, are moving water out of the system, they're replenishing constantly. So make a water change plan and stick to it. You can go with auto water changes and go ahead and set those up. Just make sure to clean those sensors just so we can work properly for you. And if you're gonna do water changes manually, make sure to set up your system that way so you can do them easier. Isn't it better way just to flip the valve, drain the tank, close the valve, turn on the pump, turn on some other valve, and it's gonna refill that tank. And like that, if I set up my water changes that way that are just easier for me to do it, most likely I'm going to do them. As far as picking filtration and setting up your filtration so it's easier for you to maintain, for instance, I like to use a refugium, an algae scrubber. If you're gonna use a skimmer, you can install the squeegee on it so you can constantly clean that neck for you so you don't need to maintain it. Or if you're gonna use mechanical filtration, use a filter roller instead of the filter socks. Or if you're gonna use filter socks, just find ways so you can clean them easier. As far as maintenance goals, just make a plan and stick to it. For instance, I like to clean my ATO sensor every single time I'm doing my water changes. And that's when I check my auto feeder, that's when I check my power heads, my skimmer, add caulkwasser powder to my caulkster, etc. And make sure when you're introducing fish or coal into your system to add just healthy specimens. So afterwards, you don't have to deal with coral pests or fish diseases that are common in this hobby. I know making a plan is a pretty easy thing to do, but usually problems come up when you cannot stick to your plan. So that's why in beginning, put a lot of work in setting up your system and that way you can stay consistent in maintaining it. We talked about a lot of things in all our previous episodes and in this episode as well. If you guys have any questions, drop them down below. Thanks for sticking around. Like, subscribe, go check out all my other videos on my YouTube channel. With all that out of the way, see you guys in the next video. Peace.